Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to quickly show you how to replace the battery and how to gain access to your vehicle if the key fob is no longer working. So this key fob is not working properly. If that is happening, I'm going to show you how to take out the key to be able to open the door. You can use this little tab here. You push it this way and the key comes out. Did that one handed, pretty cool. And we are going to take this. You can see that the door is locked right now. We're gonna take this key, put it in here, hoping the alarm doesn't go off. Oh, the lights did flash. And although the battery is not very strong in this, so it's not allowing me to open things like the hatch or unlock the doors regularly and stuff. Let's see if it still starts it. So it does still start it. Now we will head inside to replace the battery inside our key fob. First thing we want to do is we want to push this tab here to the left so that we can remove the key. Next thing you want to do is you want to use your flathead screwdriver and you'll see here on the end of the key fob that there's a spot to insert the flat part to open this up a little bit. And as the key fob starts to separate, you'll just work your way around the perimeter of the key fob with your flathead screwdriver and it should easily open up. So there we have that. Next thing you'll want to note is how the battery is placed inside the key fob. It is currently negative side up. So we're gonna make sure that we replace it that way. Remove our battery using that flathead screwdriver and we'll see what battery it takes. It takes the 2032. So we happen to have a bunch of 2032 batteries here. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. And it even says on the key fob that it is positive side down. So it should be pretty simple to put this back in. There's a little archway on the where the battery goes. Make sure you're pressing the battery into that and then just simply push down on it and it should go right into place. Next, we'll insert our key fob top and just press all this really firmly together, being sure you're not accidentally holding down any of the buttons. And once you see that everything is nice and firm all the way around the edges, then we can go ahead and reinsert our key. Now we'll head outside and give this a test, make sure everything's functioning properly. All right, so we'll see if this works now. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock it. We'll try doing the remote start. Open the hatch. Go ahead and close the hatch. And lock it up. All right, so everything is working. We're having it to where we're in the parking lot and then it would randomly stop recognizing the key. And that's a little scary because we don't want to end up stranded. But just wanted to share this with you. Hopefully this is helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for future videos on this vehicle. Thank you again.